These are the best 15 tips I can possibly give to any new player. By rebinding vault and jump onto two different keys, you are able to jump around without the fear of vaulting over your cover on accident. Go into settings, scroll down a user interface, and change squad leader menu to a key that's easily accessible, preferably on your mouse. This allows you to place a concrete barricade, which has no build time for easy cover. By crouch jumping right before you're about to go into the vault animation, you're actually able to save yourself not only time, but your gun is actually still pulled out fully so you're able to shoot if there's somebody nearby. Where you hit a heavy vehicle matters. Key RPG only does 20 to the front of the tank, but it does 40 to the back. There's also a different sound effect when you hit it from the back. You're actually able to shoot through chain fences and you're actually also able to throw nades through them too. This also goes for hedges too on Tensa Town. You're also able to shoot through and throw nades through hedges on Tensa. Don't use flashes to actually flash. Use flashes rather for info than actually as a utility item to flash somebody. The flashes in Battlebit have a crazy radius, but they don't flash anybody. You can use this to your advantage by just simply using the hit marker sounds and the hit marker indicator as a way to clear rooms based on the hit marker sounds and the hit marker indicator. If there's a lot of people, you will be constantly hearing those hit marker sounds and the hit marker indicator will pop up. So please use flashes more for info rather than trying to actually blind your enemies. By making drag hold instead of toggle and then setting your drag to the same key as revive, you're able to hold down the same key to pull your friendly away from combat yet revive them without any waste of time. For this one though, I do really recommend you put this on secondary keybinds, not your main. Unlike other games, vaulting in Battlebit is just a hold key. You can just hold it down whenever you want to vault. You don't need to spam it. A lot of people didn't know this, but you can actually customize your character in Battlebit. This will determine the amount of mags you have, the equipment you have, how fast you run, how fast you ADS. It's pretty important. With this tip, I recommend you guys use the Ranger Vest on Medic. You do run an ADS slower, but the amount of mags you get for that trade-off is absolutely worth it. Please change your combining mag keybind. This will save you so much time and effort trying to figure out which key to click to combine your mags. By changing your interact keybind and your reload keybind to the same key, you're able to now reload, drop your mag, and then instantly pick it up as soon as it hits the floor. This saves you a lot of time if you're a player that likes to drop their mags, but yet pick them up so you're able to refill it later. I highly recommend this if you like playing support. Go into the settings and just turn screen shake down to zero. Just, just do it. It's or it, just do it. If you want to use RPGs, use heat RPGs on infantry. Even though fragmentation sounds like it's better than heat, heat is way better. This is because heat just simply does more damage and it's also a lot more concentrated. Fragmentation does less damage, but it has more spread. This is just how the game is right now. This tip will be outdated if Oki decides to nerf the heat or change the way that fragmentation versus heat works. This one just needs to be said, please find flank routes. Never follow your teammates if you're trying to go for high kill games. You always wanna be the one that's first to get the encounter, yet not be the first one to be seen. By going for flank routes, especially using C4 as a way of navigating the map, it's a really good way to actually start farming kills. I see so many times that people just go straight and just beeline the objective when that's not what you're supposed to do. Even if you have the point, always look for a flank route. Do not follow the beeline. Do not do it. You will die and it is not going to be fun. You will be stuck in a death loop. Find a flank route. Very final tip, the FU site is the best site in the game, obviously. Uh, please run the FU site. It, it's really good, I promise. I swear, not trolling, not bait.